so this is Sweet Wallace Cafe. Yes. And this is the flagship store. This has started it at all. Yeah, just over 30 years ago, this is the first Sweet Waters they opened up. Okay. And I noticed that you guys have them like all over like Michigan. Yeah, and so I know the owners here, I've only worked here for a few months, so I'm not entirely sure. I know they have three other locations in Ann Arbor, and yeah. then they franchise out other ones. So we're now in over 30 states. Wow. It's primarily in Michigan, but we're, like, we're slowly spreading out. Wow. And it's it's a lot nicer than Starbucks. It's still it's turning into like a big coffee chain like Starbucks, but it's definitely nice. What what do I, what are the most popular things here that people uh, get? Uh, well, I mean, bigger sellers like lattes. Lattes. Everyone loves lattes, right? Ever. We do. We do our own cold brew too. We got we have a pretty good tea selection. Okay. So, I mean, biggest sellers obviously are gonna be the lattes. Yeah. But it's nice to have like a little bit of everything for everybody. Any any flavor latte people really like here? Oh, like vanilla. Vanilla. Like fresh vanilla. That's the biggest seller, yeah. Okay. We also got like a like a caramel one. That's pretty big too. Yeah. And you also host a variety of events here as well. You have a variety, variety, uh, a saxophone player that comes in every other su Sunday, yeah. and you have open mics. I think just because this is a, the, the flagship location, location the not really like to have. We do like a lot of pop ups, like we host like different pop ups. Most recently, we had um, uh, a guy from Hong Kong who makes egg tarts. He was in here uh, giving those out free samples. So they're not affiliated with the company. They kind of just set up like a little kind of booth over here. Okay. But it brings in a lot of customers, so it's kind of like a mutual beneficial thing for both of us. Okay, so a little pop-up display. Yeah, that's really cool. And, yeah. So if you're ever in Michigan or ever, check out Streetwater Cafe. Uh, anything awesome? Like, what, what set you guys, You what do you think set you guys apart? Uh, how do you describe how you guys set yourself apart the other cafes? Hey, our biggest competitor is Starbucks. I feel like that's the... Yeah, yeah, but what set you apart? Why are you thinking you're better than Starbucks? I mean, I, I don't... I feel like we... They, uh, the owners had made sure to really source their ingredients. Like, they spent a lot of effort finding the right coffee beans. Find, they make their own blends, too. Yeah. They're up in the store making their own mixes, making their own drinks. And I feel like that attention to detail. Especially when we have a smaller company, you can really really see the whole thing start to finish it's kind of what separates from the bigger chains yeah that is, that's that's uh oh sorry i gotta run all right well thank you please like subscribe share the video i know this guy is really busy so we are right now in ann arbor uh and it's pretty cool right downtown so so let me show you some of the pastries so they got really nice pastries. That's one of the big things you see when you come in. But they have a lot of really cool flavor. Fruity drinks too, I have noticed on the menu. And which is pretty cool. They also have this print me station, which is I think a third party thing. As they rent the space, but they do have that available for people that need a print that they can send uh, some type of system of getting things printed out while well, uh, you know people are here studying and stuff and there's a lot of nice uh, nice space to come and study and and hang out do some work other than maybe going to a public library you can come to a coffee shop which is awesome and there's also a lot of outdoor seating like at this location, which is pretty awesome. It's on the corner of Ashley and Washington Street here, downtown Ann Arbor. So yeah, please subscribe, share the video, let's go. I guess it was also a really historic building. It used to be a hotel at first, and then it was a, a gas station automotive uh, dealership. It was really cool. Uh, one of the first automotive dealerships in Ann Arbor. They, you know, to, they sold a Toledo Stimo that ran on coal. They actually sold coal as well. It's pretty cool. So they have the same like little packets they have at Starbucks. I don't know. I never saw this Vivo sauce. 
Maybe I should do like, like some like what the other YouTubers do. Like they show me doing like the main game thing in the live, and then they would make it entertaining. Like I don't know, like I don't know, I don't like. But it's entertaining. Watch people doing like the main game, the normal on the main game. I see like the normal things that people do, like through a video, watch somebody, you know, like, you know, Shelby Church and a bunch of other YouTube rooms. It's just like, I don't know, building, it's like building a relationship with the you see on the screen. And it's kind of interesting, you know? And then it has a cream. I like, I hate all these, open up all these cream packets. Because like, I actually have a cream thing. Right now, it, it, it's leaving room for cream, but that's okay. Because at least they generate some coffee. So me and my friend Leah is out here right now on the side of the building selling our rings and I Take us some trousers while I'm out here just enjoying my coffee in the morning. I'm not really trying too hard to sell my rings today. Almost had one sale. You see, almost while well, I was inside, I could get my cup of coffee, she almost sold a ring. It was pretty like, cool, you know? You haven't and, been out here long. You haven't been out here long. Uh, but, you know, you know, it's kind of neat to have a nice area out here. Just drinking coffee. It's a really nice, peaceful place to drink coffee in the shade. I think I'm going to organize these a little better. So. Facebook is there. So even though we haven't sold any rings, at least I'm getting some of my YouTube videos edited and been working on some other things and stuff. But it's getting hot. The sun is coming out. It's getting hot. And uh, so if you want to support me on my travels, I really appreciate it. it was, uh, you can do it for free just by liking this video, sharing the channel. And of course, subscribe and be part of the family, right? You know, that's that's what you can do, and that doesn't cost any money. If you want to, if you want to join our channel for like I think three dollars a month, I'll let you guys see videos before they are posted to the internet. Like this video I'm doing right now is going to be memos only, and then after the first few hours, I'm going to put it um, to everybody else, except because you know the advert revenue does it. It takes time for the ad revenue to pop up, so I usually let the members get first before, and you get free uh, advertising free for the members too. Uh, you know, so too. Uh, so there's all of, and you also supporting the channel, make it possible for us to do these fun events. So I like to be more like you know, do more videos like you know, Mr. You know, so and so and. You know, where I give out, you know, help people with their dreams and stuff. It'd be really awesome to really be able to bless some people, you know, give away some money or do something crazy yeah. awesome, you know, like. like live generous. You know, yeah. live, live, really live. The hype, believe in goodness. You know, I really want, like, it would be really awesome, but I don't have the financial ability to be, like. Think outside of the box. Be super, super generous, even though I am super generous. You know, I give away a bunch of stuff and I help a lot of people. You know, and you know, I let a lot of people stay with me, and you yeah, know, and of this little guy. for my house and stuff, and huh? and uh, so and so, you know, so yeah. Alright, well, let's go.